Hi guys, it's me. I hope you're doing well. And welcome to uh, Sinful Eden. This game caught my attention a while ago and I just got around to giving it a bit of a play. Um, it's pretty unique in its approach to stuff, so I'll just jump in. It's not your standard visual novel, it's more an adventure game with some talky bits and roleplay bits and stuff. And It's got a rather unique story, let's begin. We're gonna start a new game here. But first of all, let's look at instructions. This is pretty important, I feel. Civil Eden is a point and click adventure game with dating some RPG elements. The game's control using the mouse. Always make sure you talk to a girl after giving her a gift, both in person and on the phone. If you need to cash to buy a gift, you can make money by working, gambling, or searching. Your reputation rep is very important. Always try and increase the strat. If this rep is too low, people won't want to get to know you. You can increase your rep by working, playing certain mini games, giving gifts, etc. When you have to use the bed in the bedroom to go to sleep, you can sleep until night or until the next day. Your rep decreases when you choose to sleep, so it's not wise to use your bed too often. We've got a computer, we've got an inventory, we've got a diary. We can save our game in the diary when we want to. Okay. I think we get the general gist of things, guys. Let's uh, jump into the main game. You're going to be quite surprised by the storyline here, I feel. Is that us? When a boy of Carrigan Island comes of age, he must find a suitable partner. I, the High Priestess Aurora, do decree that all men of 19 years or older who have not betrothed before the ceremony of union are to be sacrificed. It's your 19th birthday today, and the ceremony of union is nearing. You had better hope that your precious Evie agrees to marry you, otherwise you're pretty much done for. You should go and visit Evie today. I'm sure the two of you can come to some kind of uh, arrangement. But if not, I'll be more than happy to accept your soul as payment for your failure. Well, that's nice of you. There we go. It's time to wake up, I feel, as we dream of the... You must awake now, little man. You have much to do. Thank, th thanks, 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 whoever you are, goddess, feather lady. Monday, 8 a.m. on Carrigan Island. I guess we've just awoken. So, ah, the start of a whole new day. I can't wait to speak to Evie. I guess we should go and speak to Evie then. Let's get out of here. Oh. oh, good morning. Dear, happy birthday. I think you're a little too old for presents now, but all the same. Take this and buy yourself something nice, okay? Can I just say that our face in the top left-hand corner of the screen there is looking borderline traumatised. Looks like, looks like something's gone in somewhere, if you know what I mean. You received $20. Wow, lucky you. Now that you're 19 years old, you have to find a wife. I know you don't, still don't feel ready for marriage, but this is the way of our people. I think you should go and propose to Evie today. She's such a lovely girl. I'm sure she'll make a fine wife for you. Or you're, or you're going to be dead. Now off you go. Good luck, dear. And don't stay out too late. Remember, it's Tuesday tomorrow. You have work. We work on a Tuesday, but not on a Monday. That seems a bit unusual, but I'm okay with that. Let's exit to world map. Okay, well, this pit's marked. This is Evie's apartment. Let's go. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I suppose it's good you came over. We need to talk. You see, the truth is, I'm breaking up with you. Why does Evie have lesbian porn on the wall? Maybe that's why she's breaking up with us. I mean, it's not lesbian porn exactly, but you know, there is certainly a homoerotic, lesbianish, lishishishish undertone to this picture right here. I'm breaking up with you. How should I reply to that? No, please don't leave me, Evie. Cry. You know they're going to sacrifice me, right? That's cool. I actually came here to dump you. Let's play it cool, guys. Uh, that's cool. I actually came here to dump you. I'm so dead. I'm so... What? what? How could you say something so cruel? I think we're done here, so maybe you should just leave now, okay? Fine. Fuck you, Evie. Oh, I guess that's... <laughs> we have the stupidest face ever. Look how happy we are here! How could Evie do this to me? This changes everything. Looks like I need to find someone new to marry. And I have to do it quickly. I don't have long left until the ceremony of union. There's plenty of girls on this island. 
I just have to make them like me. It could be easier said than done. I need to think carefully about this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anime mode engaged, guys. Okay, this is serious business. I need a plan of action. The first girl I should focus on is Mae Valentine. I've seen Mae hanging out at the local library. She's roughly the same age as me and looks pretty hot. After I've gained Mae's affection, I should move on to my next hut. What? So I guess we're going to try and romance as many girls as possible to uh, make sure we definitely do get married and don't get sacrificed to the goddess. Esther Noble. She's known on the island as being an upbeat party girl who enjoys the nightlife. She'll probably be located in one of Carrigan Island's nightclubs. Moving forward, the next girl on the list is... Aiko Nomura. Aiko likes to hang out on the beach a lot. She used to be an outdoors kind of gal. She's definitely one of the cutest girls on the island. Not sure I would agree with that assessment. She looks like she's been inflated. Not like... I don't mean like... Not in that way, guys. I mean like... She looks like a sex doll, okay? She looks like a fucking walking sex doll. Just look at that fucking face. It's like a deformed dumpling. Lastly, after Aiko has succumbed to my charms, I should set my sights on the final mark. Cleo Fontaine. Cleo's an upper class girl with expensive tastes. She won't be so easy to charm, but I must succeed. Once I've gained the adoration of these four women, I'll be ready to make my choice. This way I can pick my gr perfect wife before it's too late. Okay, I need to get going. I should begin my search at the Caragon Library. Okay. You have a new email, check your computer. Okay, so anyway, Caragon Library, here we go. God, what the fuck is wrong with our face? Hello. It's fucking dick sucking lips you got there, main character. Oh, hello. Do I know you? I guess we should talk to May. I don't generally have a habit of talking to strange guys. Give May a gift. It's kind of you to offer, but I don't really know you well enough to accept presents from you. Oh, I guess you shouldn't accept gifts from a guy with such a poor reputation. I should increase my rep to at least 100 before I try and give May a gift. Right, I guess we should leave. So, May isn't gonna do much for us at the moment. May has friended you on the social networking site Douche Hub. Now you can use your computer in your bedroom to find out more about her. Well, I guess we should probably go and do that. So, let's get back to our apartment. Home, sorry. We have quite a nice house. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. Isn't it a lovely morning? Fuck off, Mum. I'm going to get sacrificed soon. We should probably tell our mum we're going to die, but she doesn't seem overly bothered. Let's have a look at this, shall we? May Valentine. May Valentine. She's 21, 5 foot 4, 98 pounds, a Virgo, and a, psycho a physicist, not a psychiatrist, a physicist. Lakes, nature, flowers, romantic evenings in, caffeine, lingerie, and the colour black. Dislikes, chocolate, the colour orange, hot pants, air travel, and spicy foods. Born into a religious family, May is the youngest daughter of the Reverend Eli Valentine. From a young age, May developed an interest in the sciences. In her spare time, she enjoys walks to the countryside and reading. I guess we should probably remember that. We also have a phone number, 555-0913. We should probably try and call her, I guess, but check our emails first. What we have here. Email from Carrie. Greetings from Carrie's, your local general store. Sales now on. Visits to pick up a bargain. Okay, so we should probably get her something that she likes. Don't forget, hey remember you have work on Tuesdays, your shift starts at 9am and as your supervisor I expect you to be on time. I'll see you at the bureau at 9am. Regards Vivian Knight. Email from May. Hey, it was nice meeting you earlier. Hope to see you again soon. What? You, you've you only met once and you were a cunt to us. You just were like, um, I don't think I talk to people like you, you piece of human feces. But we were like, sure thing, boy. What's your social networking number? Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, head log out for now, I guess. Oh, what was the phone number again? 555-0913. We should definitely harass her over the phone. I feel that's definitely a good plan. How do I, how do I use my phone? Here's our diary. So we can save the game and continue here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, save point. So if we do get fucked, if we do get fucked, that's the whole goal. If we do fuck up and get sacrificed, at least then we can, um, you know. We have no phone at the moment. Apparently we don't have a phone. We have a creepy picture of a girl in the wall of our room that I only just noticed though, which is, uh... Oh, and Mia's not that creepy, I guess. He's 19. Here's the phone. So make a phone call? Yeah, damn right. He said my catchphrase. I just realised he said my catchphrase. Oh. Did I fuck up the number? 
You better pick up the phone, May. Hello. Oh, hello. What's up? How should I reply to that? Hi, May. How are you? Um, I'm good, I guess. I'm just reading a book about ancient Greece. I really enjoy reading about historic events. Anyway, I should get going, okay? See you later. Well, that was an exciting phone conversation, May, you boring fuck. Well, my rep is still zero, so I guess that phone call did nothing at the moment. I guess we should start doing some mini games and stuff to try and earn ourselves some reps, so May will actually pay attention to us, and we won't get horribly sacrificed really soon. Let's have a look, shall we? Before we do that, actually, though, before I... Just may as well say before we go do some mini games. I've got a feeling I'm going to fuck up quite a lot, so you never know. Obsessive saving. That's the that's the name of the game when it comes to me making videos. Here we go. Let's have a look around the island, shall we? Actually, first of all, we've got Ico's Beach House. It's locked. Carmen's Bar. It's only open at night. The locker room. What the fuck is the locker room? Okay, we've got some lockers here. There's a locker here. Okay, so if we if we can know codes, we can or we know how to hack or something, we can open these. Okay, I guess that's relevant later on. What else do we have? Carrigan Art Gallery. No one here. The world's the world's worst art gallery, as far as I can tell. There, there was nothing else. There. There's a casino, the bank. Oh, carry store. Let's see if there's anything we can buy. Hi. Hi, my name is Carrie. Welcome to my store. How can I help you today, sir? Um, let's browse some merchandise. And she likes flowers. And twenty dollars. We got enough money to buy that. Thank you. So we've got that. Um, hope you enjoy browsing my wares today, sir. Uh, there's lots of pretty girls here on Carrigan Island. Not so many hot guys, though. I guess that's because they all get executed if they don't find a wife in time. Oh well, that's life. <laughs> Everyone's just like really chill about the execution, so like, yeah, whatever. I get an email all the time. Um, what am I looking to do? Meryl's apartment. Oh, let's just look around, I guess. Who the fuck are you? My god, what a terrible odor. Smells like desperation and cheap cologne. Maybe you should take a shower. Anyway, what do you want? What should I do? Um, play the goddess board? I don't know what that is. People say the goddess board imprisons the deity Ursula. A goddess of such beauty, all those who gaze upon her are blinded by desire. Okay. I don't sell items, however, I'm able to bestow upon you the ability to see the unseen. Think of it like a sixth sense. Um. Uh, I guess we'll play the goddess board and try and unlock the goddess Ursula. Oh, great. So all you gotta do is unscramble the goddess board before the time runs out. I'm sure even someone as dumb as you can manage it. You ready? Let's do this! Ready? Fantastic. This is gonna be a fucking disaster, isn't it? Well, it's gonna take me a few guys, probably, this, uh, guys. But, um, I will see you on the flip side when I've solved this... I hate this. I fucking hate these. When I've solved the puzzle of, uh, of this. I did it, guys. I think I did it. I did it, guys! It's pretty numb. Great job, and I had quite a lot of time left. You did it. Never thought someone looks as dumb could be so smart. It's amazing. My reputation increased by 30 points. Holy shit. Let's try the next stage. Great, there's gonna be a bunch of these. Ready? It's the same chick again. What the fuck? Hello. Okay, guys, we're at the library now. Oh, hey, how's it going? Let's uh, give me a gift, shall we? Oh, you want to give me something? Oh, thank you. What a thoughtful gift. May's affection for you has increased, and you gained 50 rep. Great job. May gave you apartment achy. Whoa, May. May, that's some fast moves you're making there, May. I guess we should go to, uh... Apartment A? What's apartment A? What's May's fucking apartment called? May's apartment, I'm guessing. We have Meryl's apartment, Gertrude's, Polona's, Evie's. Huh. I don't know where this uh, this key is applicable, but... Let's have a look around, shall we? Here, we're Carrigan Bank. We don't need money, but still. Hi. Hello, sir. Welcome to Carrigan Bank. You a hundred more of this will earn them trust in your money. Sounds good, right? So how can I help you, sir? Well, at the moment, I don't have any money at all because I spent it on the rose so until we start doing our job on Tuesday I feel there probably isn't a lot else to do you know what I mean if that makes sense 
So it turns out the game gives you quite a lot of time to do stuff. Like, I've, I've played quite a few of the games, my rep's at 2.30 now. What I'm going to do is go home and go to sleep and see how much rep I lose from doing that and see what work is the next day. So let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, sleep until tomorrow. It's a long hour sleep, my character looks like they're dying. Fantastic. Would love when that happens. So I only lost a little bit of rep too. So this is pretty good way of doing it. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh well, good morning, dear. Remember you have work today. Hurry and get to the general advice bureau. You don't want to be fired for being late. Yeah, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Okay, so the general advice bureau is where I work, and that's it here. Oh, you actually turned up early for work. Great. Thanks, Vivian. Thanks for your your uh, fucking niceness. Hi, okay, let's have a productive day. You remember what to do, right? Just wait for your phone to ring and answer my any customer inquiries. Pretty simple, right? That's giving you another fucking minigame, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Gotta fucking do this. Phone isn't ringing. Oh, it's ringing now. Hi, what are spinal bones called? Um, I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, there. That was the wrong answer. The customer ended. Oh, we're gonna hemorrhage rep. The call for disgruntled with your poor customer service. That's too bad. Okay, so we have to know the answer to these things. Shit! 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 I'm incompetent! Hi, I need to ask, what's an Australian Kelpie? It's a small type of crab. It's a nocturnal marsupial. It's a type of herding dog. Baby, Google! What's an- you've got a second, you've got time! It's an Australian Kelpie! 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 K-A-L-P-I! K -K -L what is it? Cattle dog! Dog is a dog! Herding dog! Yes! Yes! Thank you, Chrism. Next one. That's the correct answer. The customer is very satisfied with your service. Great job. Next one. Okay, you ready, baby? Okay, Chrism's gonna be my eyes and ears here, guys. We're gonna have the perfect customer service record. Apart from that first one, that first one never happened. Don't worry about it. Just forget it happened. Okay, here we go. I'm poised. Here we go. Answer, answer, you stupid fuck. Hi, please tell me what's a crank pulley? It's a type of underwear, an engine part, or a computer. Well, it's an engine part, so don't worry about that. That's easy. That was easy, Bubba. Even I knew the answer to that, Bubba, and I'm stupid. Next call, next call, next call, next call. Let's have a look. Hello, what's sangria? It's a type of cocktail. There we go, I knew that all as well. It's fantastic. You knew that too, Bubba. Yes, you did. Don't worry about it. We got make, we're making money as well. We're making ma What's a bank vole? It's a type of rodent, a type of fish, or a person who works in a treasury. I don't know. A bank vole. V-O-L-E. What is a bank vole? That's correct! Fantastic, Bubba, that's super numb. I don't know how long this goes on for, probably about 10 hours, I'm guessing. But, thank you. Me and Chris are uh, the best team of customer service everywhere. Uh, what's an Z? What's a 7x62? So, no, what, what's 7 times 62? 7 some maths. 7 times 62. Go ahead. Get a calculator! Calculate your seconds! Baby, you got like. I don't have a Okay, uh, 77 7 times 62. 434. Four. Yes! Baba genius! Huh? No, no, no. You just lose rep if you get it wrong. We'll, we'll do like a few more, but they'll be fine. Next one. Uh, what's a kitchlid? C I C H L I D. L I D. Uh, it's a fish. Because it, it was like tank on the suggestions there on Google. Fantastic, guys. You learn something every day. Like when you play this game, you play Simple Eden. What the fuck even do you work at? I don't really know. We, we work at the General Inquiries Bureau. Yeah, we're like Google. Hola, I need to ask, what's a booby? It's a type of bird. Oh, we did it. Doesn't time fly when you're at work? Anyway, it's time to close up, so you're free to clock out now. I'll see you next week, okay? And try to be on time. But we did it. We're genius. We work once a week. Yeah, we work at we work at Google once a week. That's what we do. We've got emails, but this is important. This could be. I don't know where my mom's gone. She's probably dead. Let's have a look. Look at the computer, shall we? Right. I can't talk to May right now on friend face, but let's have a look what we got here. We got email from Carrie. Thank you for chopping, Carrie. Fuck off, Carrie. Vivian. Good job. I'm glad to see you made it to work today. I'll see you next time next week. Okay? Regards. Thanks, Vivian. Thanks. We work at Google. That's how you. That's how you make mad bank working at Google. Maybe. 
for a week. <laughs> I love you, Robert. Thank you for your help. Super no. Anyway. Okay guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call May. It might be a bit creepy. Five 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 zero nine one three. May, you better be happy about that fucking flower I gave you. Look at my face. Oh, hello, what's up? Uh, hi May, how are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Reading a book about windmills. I really enjoy reading about architecture. Anyway, I should get going. Chat later now. Another riveting conversation from our future fuck buddy there. Our future wife, apparently, going to the plot of this game. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. We're making mad bank on that rep, yo. Mad bank on that rep, yo. Oh yeah, shit. Thank you for reminding me to save, Beverly. I saved! Did it! It's pretty numb. Pretty fucking numb. Oh. oh, good morning, son. Are you going out today? Yeah, if you don't remember, Mum, I have to get married in the next week. Otherwise, I get executed by the government. So, no rush. I'm glad to see you're not worried about it at all. You're just drinking. Drinking a bottle of wine over there. you got problems, Mum. Anyway. What is this chick like again? I've got to buy shit. Hi, Carrie. How's it going? What have you got for sale? Uh, white wine. Actually, before, what I'm gonna do? 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 That said, we need lots of money, right? Maybe I should save my money. I don't know. I don't know what the best. I don't know what the best option is. Let's go back home. Check out her profile on Twatface or whatever it's called on this. Uh. Find out what she likes again, and then we'll buy her something and then stalk her. I think that's probably the best option here. May. What? Okay, May. Um, so she likes lingerie, flowers, romantic evenings in, caffeine. I'm not sure anything there counts as caffeine, but it was the caffeine. But okay, so lingerie, caffeine, flowers, and romantic evenings in. Hey, everything else, shit. That's what she said. Everything else, everything else makes her want to vomit. Does she actually have anything here of that variety? Carrie seems to sell everything, by the way. Like, uh... Um... Well... There's a cola drink. And it's packed with sugar and caffeine. There you go. What's more romantic than a can of Coke, eh? Mmm. Let's go and give this to our, uh, our, our good librarian romance chick girl. Where are you? Is she still... Does she just live here? Hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? You don't really say a lot else, to be honest with you. Oh, you want to give me something? I want to give you some cola. Oh, thank you. What a thoughtful gift. Maze affection you has increased and you're gaining 50 rep. Oh, yeah, we've got two out of four hearts now. I guess if we get to four, she's marriage material. Hello. Uh, I'm going to talk to May. Hello, handsome. I've missed you. Thanks for, the, thanks for that eloquent. Thanks for that eloquence, May. Thank you. Um, I'll see you later. I want to find out what the apartment key's for. It seems like pretty important, right? The front key is made of brass. Maybe this key will unlock one of the apartments on the island. But which? How do I know which one it unlocks? Do I just click on chair or what? That place is locked. Oh, I used the apartment key A to unlock Gertrude's apartment. Okay, so May gave me gave me the key to someone else's house. Gertrude appears to be sleeping, and appears to be very old. And th that's it. That is all that's here at the moment. I guess Gertrude has some things waiting for us. Ha, huh, there's something odd about this painting. Take it down. Oh, there's a safe behind the painting. There seems to be a safe here. Um, sure, it's not stealing, it's just borrowing, right? No, I, I need the code, otherwise the alarm's gonna go off and I'm gonna probably get killed and arrested. And I'm already on like the list to be executed by the fucking goddess soon, so um, I guess I shouldn't do that. Anyway, guys, I feel that this is a good overview of Sinful Eden so far. I hope you enjoyed. I'd actually like to play some more of this. If you guys want to see more, please hit the like button. Please let me know what you thought of the game in the comment series. Uh, series? Comment section. 
and uh, I'll see you really soon. Uh, just a reminder, there are a bunch of my old t-shirts re-available on my uh, store, as well as a brand new Crinks Family shirt. You can see it on screen right now. If you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me on Game Wisp. It's like Patreon, and it really helps me out a lot, especially with all this YouTube bullshit going on right now. That sort of thing is a way you can help content creators you like without them having to worry. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for your time. Have a great fucking day, and I'll see you soon for more Simple Eden, hopefully, so that you see what you thought. Bye for now. Bye for now. I just want to thank my gamer supporter, Angeling, for bringing you this video. Angeling, Angeling, I'm not quite sure how to say your name, but you are super fucking awesome. Thank you very much. Stay fantastic. And there's another month you've been supporting me now. It's been a bunch of months in a row. So thank you so much for that ongoing support. It really does mean a lot. Thank you very much for making this video possible.